What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lab. We are in Military Tycoon today and I'm going to show you a quicker way to clear the Hard Mode Elite Mission 3 solo, okay? Yeah, we're going to clear the Hard Mode Giga Chat in less than 2 minutes. There has been quite a few things being introduced into the game and I thought it would be a good time to have an update of clearing it quickly. We also have the RG1 and the Elite Blackbird in the Elite Shop now. It costs a total of 450,000 Elite Coins if you want them both at level 50. It's quite a bit of grind so this method has shortened my usual run by about a minute per run. That's about 33% reduction in time. This is the first run. So I am going to just do the run and I'm going to explain more in details in the next run. You can see that this is hard mode, Elite Soldiers and Ghost Snipers everywhere. Okay, you may have guessed it already, I will be using the portable nuke to destroy the Giga Chat chopper. It will one-shot the chopper, but there is quite a bit of precision in the timing and the position where you placed it. I am going to explain more in the next run. Look at this, boom and the door is open at the same time as well. Okay, so it is 1 minute 57 seconds, under 2 minutes. Let's do it again. Now you want to use your loadout to equip the Stealth Armor. Stealth Armor is fast and moderately tough. The moment you are about to reach the second C4, equip the portable nuke and place it somewhere here. It is right beside the red pipe valve handle. I used to put it between this cabin and the next before the ladder, on the right side of course. However, it seems like Military Tycoon increased the range of the portable nuke a little, so it kinda kept killing me for a little while. Now the important thing is that you know the portable nuke could do the job. If Military Tycoon decided to adjust the range again, you know you can make simple adjustments to it. Don't trigger the boss yet, once you are here, Swap out your stealth armor with the skull armor. You can use the nuke armor too but it's not gonna help you with the nuke resistance. Once it is 33 seconds left on your nuke, run out all the way to the end. If you are feeling confident and wants to stay with the stealth armor, then leave at 32 seconds. If you are worried that you may not make it in time for the nuke, you can wait for the second C4 to go off first before placing down the portable nuke. This will give you a lot more time. Once the nuke timer reaches 4 seconds, start placing the C4. Everything will fall in place like dominoes. Boom and go! I like to switch to heavier armors here for the last section because it's safer. This run is only a few seconds slower, so I don't really want to take so much risk and die in the last section. But if you are confident, you can keep the stealth armor on. Now of course, this is a solo run. Nobody will trigger the boss, but if you're in a public server, somebody will almost always trigger the boss even if you tell them not to. What do you do then? Simple. We just have to change a small order in the way we do this thing. Once you are here, somebody will trigger the boss. That's alright.
The other poor guys will probably die because they will still be in the cabin, which is in the range of the portable nuke. If you're nice, you can warn them to follow you closely so that they don't die. Hold the first aid just in case. Just wait till the time is about 10 seconds left on the nuke. Run all the way out to the end. If you are wearing a faster armor like the stealth armor, go out at 9 seconds. This method is just slightly slower but it's still way faster than the traditional way. Happy grinding!